You think you're going to beat me? You're not going to beat me? You're not going to beat me! Hello everybody, Gorilla Monsoon here, along with Jesse the Body Venture, and what a night of wrestling action we have for you tonight on Wrestling Challenge! Well, I tell you what, Gorilla, this is going to be a big one tonight, as we're going to kick things off with some tag team action. And you know all about team ta tag team action, don't you, Gorilla? Well, that's right, uh, Jess, as you know, I've been in many tag teams, and so have you, by the way. Yes, that's right, Gorilla Monsoon, I was on the East Coast Connection, baby. Ha ha ha! Yes, indeed, as uh, we will start this one off with a tag team contest as it will be the Natural Disasters, Earthquake and Typhoon versus the Legion of Doom, Hulk and Animal, here tonight to kick off Wrestling Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Now, from Chicago, Illinois, one half of the Legion of Doom, Hulk! And his tag team partner weighing in at 285 pounds, Animal! Why are Hawk and Animal being called separate, Rilla? I have no idea, Jess. And their opponents weighing in at 468 pounds, one half of the Natural Disasters, Earthquake! And his tag team partner Weighing in at 384 pounds, Typhoon! And this one getting ready to get it under its way here. As there goes the bell, and here we go. These two are looking at each other eyeball to eyeball. Well, I don't know about eyeball to eyeball. Hawk might be looking at Earthquake in his gut. Well, Earthquake and Hawk exchanging blows now. And boy, what a matchup this is going to be. They tie up. They tie up body slam by the earthquake and they tie up again another body slam by the earthquake the body slam and now earthquake making short work of Hawk tosses him off the ropes clothesline boy that was a killer clothesline monsoon boy you could say that again Jess it looks like the earthquake has got advantage of this one thus so far as he is making mincemeat pie out of uh, animal or Hawk here it's hawk or animal. It's not animal and hawk. Get it right or pay the price, gorilla. And a flying elbow smash off the top rope there. And these two guys are no strangers when it comes to uh, going to the high rent district. They've been the high rent district. Flying elbow from the top rope. Another elbow smash. Boy, he's elbow smashing his way through Earthquake, and now Earthquake's got several level smashes to him. And let me tell you something, Gorilla. When Earthquake drops the elbow, the whole ground shakes. I bet he does as uh, he tosses Animal outside the ring as he's getting ready to go make the tag, and the tag is made to Typhoon, and here comes Animal! Bam! Right into Typhoon as he knocks him down and an elbow, another elbow, yet another elbow. And he goes for the cover. Wait, Earthquake gets in there and stomps him out. He stomped him out from getting the three count and now it looks like Typhoon We're going for the cover. One, one, two, and no. No, it's too early for that, gorilla. You should know better. Well, I do, Jess. I do just that as the earthquake, or uh, I mean Typhoon making short work of Animal here. He is devastating Animal. Boy, if both Hawk and Animal are going to be devastated by these two giant monsters here tonight. And there's the tag. In comes the earthquake. Earthquake, a big, big man. Let me tell you. I'd say he's a big, big man, Gorilla. Well, they don't call him the earthquake for nothing, you know. And they tie up, and now an Earthquake with a body slam. Animal on his feet. But now he slams the Earthquake. He's got a hold of the Earthquake. And throws him. Wait a minute, Earthquake right into him. 
Boy, that looked like he collided hard with Animal. Animal's uh, hurt, hurting for sure. And there's the tag. In is Typhoon. Typhoon uh, can be very devastating as well. Looks like, oh, Animal slams Typhoon. Goes for the tag. In comes Hawk. Hawk is the freshman in there, Gorilla. But I got to tell you, it looks like Typhoon has a lot more on him. Yes, indeed, he does. But uh, Hawk now slams it down. Goes to the top rope. Elbow smash from the top rope. Another elbow smash. A lot of high rent district again. Flying elbow. And now he goes for the cover. One. One. Two. two. And no. Typhoon kicks out. Boy, that was close, Gorilla. You get any closer, and that would have been a uh, fly on his nose. Huh? What does that even mean, Gorilla Monsoon? I don't know, Jess, but you figure it out. There's an elbow by Earthquake. Another one. Oh, he missed with that one. Hawk now on his feet. He's got a hold of him. Irish whip into the ropes. Down goes. Wait a minute. Hawk went down. <laughs> the Earthquake uh, tumbled over. He goes for the cover. One. One. Two. Two. No. Hawk strong, man. I'll tell you what. I'll give him credit where credit is due. Hawk is one tough individual. Irish whip. Both men off the ropes. Misses with the drop kick. They tie up now. And now Irish whip again. And down goes both men. Yes, but Earthquake was the one to get back to his feet, Gorilla. Yes, indeed. He's hitting uh, him with elbow smashes. And he goes for the cover. One. One. Two. Oh, he kicked out of that one. Boy, this has been a seesaw match back and forth. I've never seen anything like it, Jess. It's been back and forth all night long as these two teams, either one, could win this matchup. I tell you, when I first saw this on, on the title, one. One. No, one count only. Quick cover there. Yes, when I first saw this on the on the card, I thought this was a squash, a squash match. Yeah, a big standing drop kick by the big man. The earthquake as he goes for the cover. One, One. Two, two, three. This one's all over three. with. This one's all over with. The natural disasters pull off a victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winning team, the natural disasters. Natural Disasters pull off a victory here tonight as they go up the ladder in the tag team division. Boy, I'll tell you what. Like I said earlier on, when I first saw this match on the card, I thought for sure it would be a squash match. No, indeed, as both teams were just as determined as the other. And boy, boy, oh boy, what a match we had. I'll tell you. It was a crazy match from start to finish. Yes, indeed it was. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on to the next. Ladies and gentlemen, from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 249 pounds, Jake the Snake Roberts. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in Weighing in at 328 pounds, The Undertaker. Boy, what a match this is going to be as Jake the Stick Roberts walks up to The Undertaker and punches him right in the face. Did you see that, Gorilla? Yes, indeed I did. As these two exchange blows here, they're punching each other silly. Irish whip and down goes Jake the Stick Roberts. Yes, Jake the Snake Roberts thought he had the Undertaker, Gorilla, but in fact it was the Undertaker that had him. As the Undertaker picks up Jake the Snake, he body slams him. He tosses him completely out of the ring that time. And now uh, the referee's starting his count. What the heck is the Undertaker doing here? He appears to be going in and out of the ring but not doing anything to Jake the Snake. It's as though he can't make up his mind. Well, The Undertaker definitely not at loss for words in any match. Well, he's always at loss of words, Gorilla. He's just 
Never at loss of actions. Yes, that's right. Jake the Snake now has the Undertaker down. He picks him up. Scoop slam. What a wonderful, beautiful scoop slam there by Jake Roberts as he does it again. Going to the top rope. Elbow smash from the top rope. He goes for the cover. One. One. Oh, one count only. Boy, he kicked out at one, Gorilla. The Undertaker is one tough individual and a scary individual at that. I wouldn't want to meet this man down the dark alley. Well, I'll tell you what, Jess. I wouldn't want to meet any of these guys down the dark alley as The Undertaker really taking it to Jake the Snake Roberts here tonight. He goes to the top rope. And, oh, he misses. He went for the top rope leg drop, and he missed. Jake the Snake rose out of the way just in the nick of time. And now it's Jake the Snake Roberts tossing The Undertaker to the ropes. Down goes Jake the Snake. Uh, Undertaker reversed it and now goes for the cover. One, One two, three. three. I don't believe it. The Undertaker wins. He done that without using his signature finisher. I don't believe it, Gorilla. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, The Undertaker. Well, The Undertaker pulls off a victory here tonight against Jake the Snake Roberts and I don't believe it. He did not, as you said, Jess, do his finisher move. His finisher, the Tombstone Power Driver, was not seen here tonight. That just blows my mind, Gorilla. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to a few commercial breaks. And we'll be right back with more wrestling action. Don't go away. Hello. Do your teeth get disgusting yellow and green? Well, if so... Don't brush them with just any ordinary toothpaste. Brush them with Crest. Crest is the very best. It whitens teeth and gets them clean. Bacon in the morning, bacon in the evening, bacon at supper time. You're all hungry for bacon. You can have bacon anytime. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And now welcome back to Superstars. As it's going to be one for the record books is tonight. From Sensational Residence, weighing in at 256 pounds, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Oh yeah, here comes my guy, Gorilla Monsoon. Here he comes indeed as the Million Dollar Man makes his way down to the ring here. Who's he going to be facing tonight, Gorilla? Well, I believe he's going to be call, uh, taking on George Tacky. George Tacky's in for one surprise as he faces off against the Million Dollar Man. Well, I guess so. I think the, uh, the question is, will this superstar have what it takes to even match up to the Million Dollar Man? Well, we're going to soon find out. Is this one's getting ready to get under its way, Monsoon? Yes, indeed it is. Is uh, Both men make their way down to the ring. They're in the ring, and there goes the bell. What? There goes the bell. This one gets ready to get under its way here as these two tie up. Jotting for position. Back and forth as both men. Boy, I tell you, that shoulder to collar tie up is... Is, is one of your basic moves. And a nice uh, drop kick there by this young man. One. Oh, he goes for the cover early on here tonight. What the hell does he think he's doing? You can't pin the Million Dollar Man. Well, I think he was trying to catch the Million Dollar Man off a of guard, Jess. Down goes the Million Dollar Man. An elbow smash by George Convincy. Tosses him out of the ring. I don't believe it. Wow, what a toss out. And I got to tell you, these two battling hard outside the ring. Uh, George Latinsky. Wait a minute, the Million Dollar Man reversed that one. He smashes him into the turnbuckle. Does it again. And in on six is the Million Dollar Man. George Latinsky gets in there as well. These two tie up. They uh, toss him back and forth here. The Million Dollar Man slams him to the canvas. He picks him up. Atomic drop. Drop kick. Down is this young man. And now the Million Dollar Man, another atomic drop. Boy, the Million Dollar Man and this Ted Ledzinski guy really going at it there in that squared circle. Yes, indeed they are. That, the Million Dollar Man looks worn out. He goes for the cover. One, 
One count only. Still not able to defeat the Million Dollar Man. And they tie up. Atomic drop. And the Million Dollar Man is in the driver's seat right now. Oh my goodness, both men collided. Did you see that, Gorilla? Well, of course I did, Jess. I see everything. Well, you should see everything with those big glasses of yours. Although, one, two, and no. He kicks out. The Million Dollar Man was pinned there for a second. Wait a minute. The Million Dollar Man was pinned? I think, oh, the Million Dollar Dream. He's got him in the Million Dollar Dream. I don't believe it. The Million Dollar Dream's put away a lot of opponents over the years. He goes for the cover. One. No, he kicks out on one. How in the world? And now George Olinsky's got him pinned. He kicks out on one. The Million Dollar Man misses with a drop kick. George Lipimsky misses with several punches there. What are you calling this guy George Lipimsky for? I thought his name was George Kaginsky. And he goes for the cover on the middle one. One count only. Man, how many times has George Lipinski tried to put away the Million Dollar Man? Several. And now the Million Dollar Dream once again. He slaps it on. He's got it on good this time. Good night, George Lipinski. <laughs> Goes for the cover. One, two, and three. Yes, indeed. It's all over with. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, the Million Dollar Man. The Million Dollar Man pulls off a victory here. Oh, I tell you something, Gorilla. The Million Dollar Man is a multi-million dollar man in my eyes. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, just how ma many gifts has he given you over the years, Jesse? What are you talking about, Gorilla? Come on. I ain't got no gifts for the Million Dollar Man. Well, what are those big shiny earrings of yours? I paid for these big shiny earrings myself. Mind your own business and stick to the commentary, Gorilla. Well, anyway, that was one hell of a match that we saw against the Million Dollar Man and George Kaminsky. I believe it's George Kaminsky. Well, whatever his name is, we got another good one coming up for you folks here tonight. As it will be... It will be... Who's it going to be, Gorilla? You keep saying it will be Mr. Perfect from Minnesota. Weighed in at 257 pounds. Here is... Mr. Perfect! Mr. Perfect making his way down to the ring, and i got to tell you something, Gorilla. I like the way this man takes his gun. He spits it out and slaps it to the idiots in the audience. That's exactly what they get. A piece of wet chewing gum. <laughs> I saw you step in some wet chewing gum the other day, Jess. What? Who, me? Yes. And uh, here we go as Mr. Perfect gets ready to take on Jack Wallace. Jack Wallace, one of the top competitors here in the World Wrestling Federation. Jack Wallace ain't nothing, Gorilla. Mr. Perfect is going to make bits meat pie out of him. Well, we shall see as this fight is getting ready to get under its way here. As, uh, yes, indeed, it will be Mr. Perfect versus Jack the Train Wallace. Jack the Train? Why do they call him the Train for? Because he's trained to do these things. Oh, give me a break, Gorilla. You're making that stuff up. Whoa. Here we go. Is There goes the bell. And these guys are ready to go after each other's throats. They tie up now. They got the tie up. It's George. Uh, I mean, Jack. This young man gets an atomic drop. Drop kick by Mr. Perfect. He's got a hold of him now. A body slam. Picks him up. Suplex onto the ropes. Both men go down. Mr. Perfect now for rolling. Uh, uh, a nice rolling attack there. He Oh, he slams right into uh, Jack. Yes, he slams into Jack. And you see Jack doing several elbow smashes to my guy, Mr. Perfect. And an atomic drop. And a drop kick. Goes for the cover. One, oh. One. Man, he tried to pull a fast one on Mr. Perfect there, Gorilla. Yes, indeed, he did. But Mr. Perfect not having any of it goes for the cover himself. Oh, wow. 
Well, he's not going to beat Jack this early in the match. I don't care who you are. This young man is strong. He is tough. And I think Mr. Perfect has underestimated him tonight. Well, I don't know, Gorilla. As we see a nice big-time suplex there by Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect is, as he always says, absolutely perfect, Gorilla. The Perfect Plex! He does it! He did it! The Perfect Plex! I don't believe it! Oh, but he didn't put him away, Gorilla. He's wasting too much time. Yes, indeed. He's gone to the well way too many times. And now he may very well pay for it. He does it again. The Perfect Plex! He goes for the... He's going for the cover. Here comes the ref. One... Two, three, this one is all over with. A victory for Mr. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect has done it here tonight, folks. Pulling off the perfect victory. <laughs> Mr. Perfect, I'll tell you what, Mr. Perfect, I'll give him credit where credit is due. Mr. Perfect does in the, in the World Wrestling Federation has been absolutely perfect yeah well we'll see as we see the next combatants coming down to the ring tonight uh, you know gorilla i have in my mind that this is going to be one hell of a match it most certainly might well be is it will be the macho man randy savage ladies and gentlemen from sarasota florida weighing in at 245 pounds the macho man randy savage macho man randy savage one tough individual who's his opponent going to be here tonight though gorilla well i'll tell you this contest is scheduled for one fall and uh you know, we've seen Randy Savage last week take on Crush. And I'm not sure who, who his opponent is going to be this week, Jesse. But isn't it exciting, the surprise that uh, that very well might happen here tonight? The only surprise I want is a surprise of my Easter basket, Gorilla. <laughs> well, you might very well get that, Jess. Anyways, his opponent's coming down to the ring here. Who is he going to fight? We don't know, but we will find out as it will be none other than uh, I believe he's facing Tatanka here tonight. I, I think so. From Pinnabroke, North Carolina, weighing in at 255 pounds, Tatanka! Yes, indeed, Tatanka, the Native American from North Carolina has something to say here tonight. Well, he may have something to say, but the macho man's gonna shut him up, Gorilla. Well, maybe, we don't know, we'll see. As uh, there goes the bell, and this one can officially get started here as the macho man takes Tantanka on, he throws him off the ropes, a nice clothesline there by the Macho Man Randy Savage, uh, Atomic Drop Stomp off the ropes there, and oh, he, he reversed it, Tantanka flipped Savage over. Boy, I'll give Tantanka credit where credit is due, he's one hell of a competitor. Tantanka suplexing his way to victory here tonight as he is just giving Savage the what for. You know, he lost his undefeated streak at last year's Royal Rumble. Yes, that's right. Tatanka went for the longest time undefeated, as you all know, and lost it last week in our pay-per-view, the Royal Rumble. It's the Macho Man misses with a drop kick, and Tatanka rams right into him. A nice hip toss there by Randy Macho Man Savage. Picks him up. Atomic drop. Drop kick. He's got him up again. The body slam. And he goes for the cover. One. No. One count only. Tatanka is one tough individual who will not let Randy Macho Man Savage get the better of him tonight. Well, I'll tell you what. If the Macho Man wants to win this one, he's going to have to come back in a big, big way. Yes, indeed he is. Is Tatanka with the Tatanka drop. And he goes for the cover. Nope. That's not enough to put away the Macho Man, the former World Wrestling Federation champion with an atomic drop. He tosses him into the turnbuckle. 
Down is Tatanka. Tatanka is down and out, Gorilla. I've got the feeling this one's about to be all over with. I don't know about that. As these two men tussling back and forth here, it could very well be over with. Uh, Jess, we don't know. Well, he's had him in that in a long time, and now a body slam by the Macho Man. The Macho Man, one tough competitor. A drop kick. Down is Tatanka. And now the Macho Man goes to the top rope. What's he going to do here? Who knows? He does an elbow drop, but it's not his patented elbow smash. And he's at the top rope again. Another elbow drop. He goes to the top rope the third time. Another one. Boy, I tell you, I'm a, a little bit scared. The Macho Man might very well go too well. What's too many? He's at the top rope again. One more time here tonight. And now here it is. The flying elbow. This one's all over with. One, two, three. That's it, folks. That's it. This one is over. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. The Macho Man, Randy Savage. Macho Man Randy Savage pulling off a victory here tonight against Tatanka. And that's two losses in Tatanka's entire career. But I tell you, if he comes out of his career with only two losses, Gorilla, he's doing something right. Yes, indeed. We thought... That way back at WrestleMania, he was going to become the new Intercontinental Champion, but could not get the job done. Boy, I tell you, this has been a heck of a Superstars thus so far tonight. Is this Superstars or Wrestling Challenge? Oh, I, I mean Wrestling Challenge. <laughs> you don't know what you mean, Jess. No, I most certainly do not. But, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> While you answer my question... Oh, shut up, Gorilla. You don't... And now, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 234 pounds, Brit the Hitman Hart. Brit the Hitman Hart making his way down to the ring here. And boy, does he look tough, Gorilla. He looks stronger than ever. I think he gained a few pounds since our last broadcast last week. Well, whoever Brent the Hitman Hart takes on is going to be one tough opponent. Yes, indeed it will be. As, uh, boy, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 287 pounds, Razor Mo Ramon. Razor Ramon, the bad guy. <laughs> he makes his way down to the ring saying, eat it, Chico. Yes, indeed. Uh, Razor Ramon, one tough competitor here in the World Wrestling Federation. A newcomer, and there goes the bell. Or here comes the bell. And this one's officially under its way as these two tie up. Boy, I tell you, either man can win this match, but I'm going to have to put my money on Chico. He's got the size advantage. He's got the strength. He's got machismo going for him. That is for sure, Monsoon. Well, Brit the Hitman Hart, not the excellence of execution for nothing, you know. Yes, I do realize, you know, Brit the Hitman Hart was uh, Intercontinental Champion at one time. And, but Razor Ramon wants to hit that mark. He wants to become the Intercontinental Champion too, Monsoon. Well, he might very well be as these two go outside the ring. Brit the Hitman Hart uh, picks him up, slams him down into the steel barricade again and again. Boy, I tell you, those steel barricades are very unforgiving, Monsoon. And did you mention that this is our main event of tonight? Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to mention this is our main event of this evening as Brit the Hitman Hart climbs back in the ring. They both tie up. Brit the Hitman Hart with a tummy drop. A drop kick. He picks him up again. A body slam. Goes to the top rope. Elbow smash for the top rope. Goes for the cover. One. One count only. And that's all it took. Razor Ramon back in the action now. Back in his feet. He's throwing Brit the Hitman Hart around like a rag doll. 
That's where that machismo comes in, Gorilla. I tell you, it's good. One hell of a match. It's been Seesaw back and forth. Here tonight goes for the cover. One. One count only. And you talk about him being one tough machismo. Well, I got to say, Britt the Hitman Hart tosses him off the ropes. Nice clothesline. A nice clothesline there by the Hitman. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. He's got him in the sharpshooter. This one's very close to being over with. Goes for the cover. One, two. Will he get him? Three. Yes. Yes. Britt the Hitman Hart has pulled off a well-fought victory here today. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Britt the Hit. Man Hart! Brit the Hitman Hart pulling off a sweet victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, that does it for Superstars of Wrestling. This has been Gorilla Monsoon along with Jesse the Body Ventura saying so long everybody. Good night, Gorilla. Do 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 do. Oh yeah. Ha 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 ha! That's it, everybody. Everybody have a good night as Brett the Hitman Hart victorious once again. Boy.